Hello friends, my name is Advocate Vila Zanifalkar. We are looking the uh, ossification test. What is mean by ossification test in respect about the law? Uh, the primary test for the age determination is the ossification test. It means it is means it's related to the age determinations. The ossification test is related to the age determinations. The human's bones are modeled a new layer of bone material is laid by process called ossification test. Remodel layer of bone. It's most important. Uh, new layer of bone material is laid by the process. It is called ossifications or stay in his coats have called ossifications test. Courts have held that the medical opinion based upon ossification is merely an expert opinion under the Evidence Act 1872. According to Section 94 to uh, Subclause 2 in uh, 3rd of Juvenile Justice Act, in a situations where the accused is not able to produce his date of birth certificate or matter accumulation certificate ossification test is used to determine or whether her claim to be juvenile hold good or not suppose if you the accused have not the date of birth certificate that time the ossification test is done by the doctor it is conducted by the child welfare committee cwc in short an institution established in the pursuit of seeking journal justice in, in its trust sense. Apart from unavailability of the required document for the age determinations, it's right when the unavailability means unavailable the required documents to the court or the juvenile committee at that time the age determinations the test is necessary the full statement of the village made by the parents guardian at the time of the admission of the school is also an equal problematic problematic situation for us at the time of the admissions of the schools the parents also equal problematic situation for us this was first recognized in Vries Mohan Singh versus Priya Brett Narayan Sina sometimes even the the school have added the students on mass scale in the fabricating the age and thereby falsely claiming the benefit of the humanities that time also moreover there have been instances when the courts rejected the documentary evidence in the same is not in compliance with the indian evidence act 1872 consequently the inherent vacuum in the legal comments to provide concrete evidence of rate increases the dependence of the courts on its tests. As per the scheme of the act, when it's obvious to the committee of the board based on appearance of the person that the said person is child, the board of committee shall record observations stating that age of the child is nearly as may be without waiting for further confirmation of the age. Therefore, the first attempt of determining age is by assessing the physical appearance of the persons when they brought before the board or committee. It is only in the case the doubt process of the determinations by the seeking evidence becomes necessary. At that stage, when a person is around 18 years of age, ossification test can be said to be delivered for determining approximate age of person is in a conflict with the law. However, when the person is around 40 to 45 years of age the structure of points cannot be helpful in determining the age it's most important if the person's age is 40 to 45 years at that time the, uh, the determinations of the ossification test is cannot be helpful to the said persons age is determination is of paramount importance for ascertaining whether the an accused comes with the Purview of Juvenile Justice Act 2015 or not. The 2015 gives some special privilege to juvenile accused of committing crime. Importance of a determination age uh, further increased after the introduce, introductions of judicial waiver system which laws which allows treatment of juvenile offender has a diff adult in 
they are accused of committing heinous crime between 16 to 18 years of the age importance of the determination age further increase after introduction introductions of judicial waiver system which allows treatment of juvenile offender as adult if they are accused of committing heinous crime between 16 to 18 years of the age the provision of a determination lean heavily in favor of the juvenile offender the child welfare committee has, has been given wide powers in this respect if an accused by his appearance appears to be child below 18 years then the committee shall record an approximate age and proceed without any further inquiry if there are reasonable ground or for doubting the age then the committee relies upon matriculation certificate of birth certificate only in the absence of birth certificate of the relevant school documents the committee decide to go to certification test or other medical test of determination of the age its most important para here the ag shall be crucial analysis of the procedure for determination of this approach of indian courts in age of determinations and the lacuna in the procedure if any uh, determination is a crucial aspect since the benefit instrument under the juvenile justice care and protection of child act 2015 available only the persons who have not completed the age of 18 years section 2 35 of the age 20 2015 act defines juvenile as a child below the age of 18 years under this 2015 act the importance of judgment emissions as further due to the creations of exceptions under which a child above 16 years of the age may be tried as an adult if he is accused of committing his offense under the juvenile justice care and protections of child act 2015 layer procedure is mentioned for determination of the year three layer um, procedure is mentioned for determination of the age based upon appearance in this case the appearance is most uh, important aspects of the accused in this case of presumption is strong in favor of the juvenile if person appears to be child below 18 years then the child welfare committee shall record the approximate age and proceed without waiting for further confirmations based upon documentary evidence if there are reasonable ground for doubting the age and then the date of birth mentioned in matriculation certificate birth certificate shall be relied upon based upon medical evidence medical opinion has to be relied upon only in the absence of document evidence when the matriculation certificate or birth certificate is available when the matriculation certificate or birth certificate is available court usually refuse to entertain the objection over the age of the juvenile juvenile when the matriculation certificate of birth certificate is available courts usually refuse to entertain any objections over the age of the juvenile this is mainly because document evidence is the primary evidence under the indian evidence act in 1872 in nirbhaya's case the age of accused of for 17 years and six months according to his birth certificate and other school documents the police requested the court conduct the ossification test but the court refused the play and hailed that it cannot be permit the test its presence of positive evidence such as above certificate in raju kumar versus state of haryana court admitted mark sheet mark sheet is uh, mistake here mark sheet it's as a proof of age courts have always in the printed the provisions of juvenile justice act in favor of the juveniles in arnith versus state of bihar court held that the while is deciding whether the accused is juvenile or not hyper technical approaches uh, should not be adopted while appreciating the evidence at least on behalf of the accused when two accused are possible on the same evidence the court should lean in favor of the holding the court accused to be juvenile in borderline cases in few cases court has rejected school documents for determination of age if they do not fulfill the requirements of indian evidence like 1872 the ravindra singh versus gorki versus state of uttar pradesh court rejected a school living certificate as it did not satisfy the requirement of indian evidence act 1872 the court found that no proper register was maintained and original register was not produced before the court the register was not maintaining in the ordinary course of business it was concluded that certificate was made for the purpose of that case only therefore court rejected the said certificate 
if the court is not satisfied that time if the register was not maintaining an ordinary course of business it was concluded that the certificate was made for the purpose of that only case therefore court rejected the search before going to school leaving certificate is relatively easy and compared to the other document this is evident to be scandal which was busted in bihar we have fully suggested and school principal who made and prepare certificate for adult criminals and certified in the courts in the courts that they who were juveniles his motives are plenty was pretty simple since he was the principal it was relatively easy for him to fake school leaving certificate on additional charges 50000 he would be certified in court that is client will juveniles police suspect that he sold more than 100 school leaving certificate during the his tenure as principal he even sold them came criminal from other state as well as per police report there are many other people selling the fake certificate in the absence of birth certificate or matriculation certificate is determined based upon medical opinion the primary test for the age determination is ossification test human bones or remodeled a new layer of bone material is laid by the process called the ossifications osteogenesis or osteogenesis based upon his phenomenon ossification test is carried out courts have held that medical opinion based upon ossification test is merely an expert opinion under the evidence act 1872 therefore it cannot be binding upon the court in the state of madhya pradesh and versus anup singh court held that the ossification test is not the sole criteria for determination of age a blind and mechanical view regarding the age of person cannot be adopted solely on the basis of medical opinion by radiological examinations in mukhrab versus state of uttar pradesh court held that the medical evidence as to the age of person though way though a very useful guiding factor it is not conclusive and has to be considering considered only along with the other cogent evidence one of the major flaws with the ossification test is that it it, it only tells that estimated age of the persons and not the age it only estimates the biological age of persons which differs from the legal age ossification test leaves a margin of at least 6 months or either side even if the test is conducted upon multiple joints at the times it shows are very variations of 4 years if test is conducted upon a single bone it may leave an error of the 2 years or either side if it is conducted upon multiple joints with overlapping age of fusions the margin may be reduced after 6 months on either side still the possibility of an error cannot be ruled out ossification test leaves much room for speculation says and does not give us sure indication as to the age of person particularly when it is in the border of regions another major flaw is that the test is not useful when a person has crossed 25 to 27 years of age this is primarily because nearly all the bones are completely calcification ossified and and the skeletal growth ceases by the age of 24 years in mukhrab singh's case the medical report stated that there was no indications for dental x-rays since both the accused we are behind 25 years of the age there are better techniques available and are used for determination of age across the world for example the us imagination department uses wisdom teeth techniques for determination of age under this techniques doctor examine the third molar which usually erupts between the 17 to 25 years of age the average error is in this techniques is also significantly lower than the ossification of any other bones another technique is the epigenetic clock techniques epigenetic clock is a dna clock which measures dna met- methylation levels to the estimate age of a tissues or an organ the medis- median error in the this techniques can be reduced to less than 4 weeks such techniques need to be introduced in india as well until better techniques are not adopted for determination of age court shall be looked into state of mind and criminal maturity of juvenile and decide whether he should be tried as an adult or not this is primarily because the 
some kids grow faster than others for instance boy who is reared in higher delinquency area and may reach criminal maturity by the age of 12 to 13 years he has reached criminal maturity because criminality has become integrated part of his personalities he plans uh, his opens not how to fix things if the court and think of himself as delinquent or bad this approach is based upon principle enunciated in the section 83 of indian evidence act indian penal code and 1860 which states nothing is an offense done by child about seven years and under the alias of age if it is proved that the he was many mature to understand the consequences of his act how we are the apply shall be used only in the cases where medical evidence is not conclusive and there are reasonable grounds for doubting the credibility of the available available documentary evidence thank you so much